time this goes live, you will be on a rooftop party celebrating a Southern signing. Just kind of what is today like? A lot of you guys from Rumble celebrating at different points throughout the day. And for you, Southern specifically, what does today mean? It's a great feeling, you know, family coming together, you know, everybody coming together for us because this journey has been a long time and we worked so hard for this moment. And to finally say that we got this moment is a uh, precious moment. I talked to some of your teammates too. Y'all's class had to go through the most bizarre year to get to senior year that you didn't know if you were going to have at one point, football wise, and to have all of the recruiting restrictions, et cetera, et cetera. How. How was this past year for you? How much of an emotional roller coaster was a lot of it? And now to be at the end of it and, and be heading to college, um, just kind of the relief and the excitement. Well, you know, at the beginning of the season, I was skeptical about it. You know, it kept pushing our season back a little more and a little more. And I kept thinking to myself, this is, is this what I really want to do? It made me push myself sometimes. But in the back of my head, I knew this is what I love and this is what I need to do to be the greatest that I can be. So, Going into the season, you know, it was a big thing going on with coronavirus and everything was going on with us working out. They had setbacks with that and, you know, a lot of people, families getting uh, manipulated by that. And a lot of things going on, you know, mentally for me, I try to keep my best because, you know, at the end of the day, with the coronavirus, you know, anything could happen. So anything could have happened like, uh, she's gonna got canceled. What can I do to better myself when that happens? So I always second guess myself, and you know, I made the best decision, which is by working out, you know, better relationship with our coaches and teams. So that's what we did. Guys like you and Colby and Kate, y'all had the reins passed to you from one of the greatest defenses to come through, where you guys were the the younger guys, so that big senior class, and now y'all had the opportunity to have a an impressive season in your own right and follow a lot of those same footsteps to college. Just kind of tell me about that continued legacy class to class, what they passed down to y'all and what y'all now leave to these next groups uh, that are that are following y'all's footsteps. Well, the class before us, that 2020 class, they helped a lot, you know. It, they've been four year starters. And our class, we only had guys who started one year. So all them three years that we had, that built up our momentum and that mentally, it helped us a lot because everything that they messed up, they taught us. So every time we uh, messed up at practice, they tell us, do this, do that. And that helped us every time in the game and that mentally prepared us. What should fans up on the bluff at Southern expect to see from you as you join that secondary for the years to come? A great leader with a mindset of a, a four-year starter, if that's the case. You know, I'm that guy that's going to get it done. I'm a leader at the end of the day. And whatever I need to do to inspire anybody else, I will do. I'm going to get the job done. You know, I'm going to do my part, and I'm going to play my part.